This is going to be a quick demonstration of my process for developing uh, the STL files to 3D print puzzles. I've got a design here from Andrew Kroll um, and I'm going to use Burr tools and then PuzzleCAD. So starting from uh, the picture here which shows me the four layers nice and clearly, I'm going to open a new file in Burr tools. Uh, now I want a 4x4x4 four x four by four cube, so we'll take this down to 4 and then uh, we'll follow the colour scheme. So we've got uh, blue to begin with, no blue on layer 1, layer 2 has a blue one uh, here. Now we want to check that it's on paint, put a blue one there, uh, layer 3 has blue here and layer 4 there and there. So that's the shape. Uh, that looks like something that uh, won't be 3D printable without support so we'll need to use PuzzleCAD to split this uh, in a minute I'll come back and colour the two parts that I want to split um, but for now let's press on with the second piece so we'll do the greens, green ones next uh, layer 1 these are all green layer 2 there and there, layer 3, those 3 and those 3, and layer 4, this corner. That's the shape. We'll do a check at the end to make sure that I've done all the pieces right. Um, by making sure that we can make a puzzle out of it. Um, let's move on to the red piece. So layer 1 looks like that. Layer 2 1 there, 2 there and then those 5 layer 3, just that one, and layer 4, uh, a U shape, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, OK. And then we also need the target cube, so we'll do a new shape, um, switch on Z, rectangle, and then tools, variable, middle. Then we'll make a new puzzle with this target cube as the result. All pieces plus one, solve, and then just by clicking start, we can check if you get exactly one assembly and no holes, obviously, then you know that you've made all the pieces correctly. If it says uh, that it can't find a solution, then you've made a mistake with one of the pieces. You can't disassemble it because these all have rotations and Burr tools can't solve puzzles with rotations. So now we go back to entities and look at the pieces and work out where to split them in PuzzleCAD. So typically uh, a piece like this will have a bottom half and a top half and the top half may be upside down. So these pieces here will be the bottom half and we have to work out the orientation. Okay, so blue is up and red is uh, left and right. Okay, so the left hand half of this are the pieces that I want to be a different part of the puzzle. I'm going to make those a different colour, so I need to add a new colour. Add colours is here, and I'm going to add a light blue. That'll do. 
OK. And then on each layer, anything in the left hand half, I'm going to left click Ah, just messed it up. Uh, I forgot that I'd got my uh, Z on, so I'll have to go back and do that again. So for the blue colour, uh, let's first of all delete those. Um, yep. Turn that off again. For the blue colour, nothing on layer 1, uh, and it's the left hand halves that I want to be the light colour. Layer 3, that is one. And that is one. Layer four, uh, just those ones there. Okay. Now I like to split these in the middle, so I think I'm going to make that one also. A light colored one. Okay, there we go. So this is one piece but it's going to be composed out of two parts the bottom half will be the dark blue and then I'll flip it upside down to make the other piece which is the light blue part let's go on and do the green so I'll choose a dark green color for the other half now if I can make this out of two pieces let's see um, yes I can so if I split it along this line here, all of this will print from the bottom upwards and then the other piece will print the other way up. So this is with maximum green. I want these pieces to be a different color. Maximum green. So at the, Yes, that piece there is my first one, and then anything in this upper half. So I'm going to add a dark green colour. And I want that one there, and that one. These three. And that one. Okay. So if I flip that upside down, that's going to be the one half of, of this piece. All of the rest will print no problem with no overhangs. So that's done. That's good. And now the third piece. What have we got here? You can put pins on the side, but I prefer not to if I can. Uh, I rather, I'd rather print pieces with the pins in the top or the bottom. Um, but that isn't always possible. Right. Looks like this will work. It's not going to be possible to do this in two colours. I'm going to need three colours. Um, all of this block here is going to be one piece and then that bar there is going to be another piece right uh, so this is how's this going to split blue is the height so the bottom half the bit nearest the origin is going to be a separate piece. Uh, so I'll make that a light colour. And 
starting at the bottom, that one. And that one, but no lower. So it's the left hand half. That's it. Okay, so those pieces, if I flip that over, will print nicely as one piece, and there'll be a peg in one half, a hole in the other half, and now I just need to deal with these here and put a peg in there to make those connect. Print this upside down. Uh, so that's on the top layer. Uh, in fact, yep, yeah, that's it. I think it's those pieces there. And I'll make those a dark red. So add a new color. Make it red and dark. OK. Good. Now I know how I'm going to split it um, so that everything is printable. I can uh, move over to PuzzleCAD. Uh, I need to save this first though. So this is Neurotic. Uh, file. Save. Good. Um, when I'm using PuzzleCAD, I usually find it's easiest to open an existing file and start from that. save the new file as neurotic. These are just the uh, um, instructions for how to create the joints. Here are the three pieces of triple tick. So I can now overwrite this with my new puzzle. Neurotic. And this is how I make my pieces. The asterisk there is, uh, tells you which one is active um, because you only want one of them active at a time when you're making a plate. And the plate, each plate is going to consist of all of the parts for one piece of the puzzle. Uh, so in Bertels, piece one consists of two parts. Piece two consists of two parts. And piece three consists of three parts. Let's start with piece one. We'll have it this way up to do the uh, the first piece. So that's three across, two deep, two high. Let's take the asterisk out. This is going to be my first visible one. Uh, I'm going to make this uh, smaller so I can see it. OK. And I can delete all of this um, within the square brackets is a piece uh, or one piece of uh, this one part of this piece so that'll be the the dark blue part that'll be the uh, teal colored part and the second set of square brackets will be the second part so in here between these quotes i can make my first part 
x is solid, so it goes x space x, that's the front, and then the back row is solid. So we put a pipe in for the next row, x, x, x. Then we finish that uh, layer with a comma, start a new layer, second layer is space space solid pipe space space solid let's clean this one out and save that when you save it It'll try and parse it, but it says there's a, a syntax error in there. That's OK. Um, that's because I've started this piece with a quote, and I haven't finished it with a quote. Let's put a quote there. Save it. OK, that's sorted. I had the wrong version of uh, PuzzleCAD loaded, so I've got the latest version in the folder now, version 2. Um, I've added the other piece, uh, which is this second row here. And now what I've got to do is put the connectors on. So on top of this one there'll be a hole, and on top of this one there'll be a pin. So a pin is the is the male connector, the hole is the female connector. Right, I need to put them on the right piece. This is the very last X there. And to make a pin, uh, I need connect male on the upper Z surface. So all of that I can just copy. And to make a, a socket, a hole, I need a connect female, again, on the upper surface. So I'll copy that and put that uh, just there. And if I've done that right, when I save it, we should see the pin appear here, the socket appear here. There we go. So those two pieces will now clip together, join together, to make the whole of piece one. Uh, so whilst I'm here, I might as well save the STL file. So I, to do that, I need to render it Interesting error. What happened there? Right, sorted that out. I had to choose uh, a new version of PuzzleCAD, uh, which I got from Thingiverse, and that's fixed the bug that I saw. Um, now getting much cleaner previews as well. So there's the rendering. I should now be able to save the file. And I'm going to save this as the STL file uh, neurotic, yep, in puzzles, STL files, crawl, need a new folder, and Call this piece one. Save. OK. Now I can go on and start the second piece, which is going to look 
a bit like that. You need to rotate it so that um, you've got a good view. Obviously that wouldn't be a good view. Uh, that would be okay. Yep, I'll set it like that. And I'll put the asterisk back in here, take it out of here, and give myself a clean palette. Again, two pieces. Um, so starting on the bottom level, the first three are solid, so it's x x x dot x x x dot x x dot 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 x x x x x x dot pipe x x x dot pipe x x dot dot pipe dot x x x second level x dot 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 pipe dot 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 pipe dot 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 pipe dot X, X, X. Then we need another layer. And the third layer only has pieces at the back. So that's going to be dot, 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 pipe, dot, 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 pipe, dot, 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 pipe, dot, X, X, X. Good, that's the first piece, but let's put the uh, pin going. So that's the male connector on top of um, the first block in the second layer. That's that one there. Right. Then we'll turn it over. That'll, well, perhaps that way. Yes, that'll give me a good view. So that's dot dot x on the first. Dot dot x. Pipe x x x. Pipe x dot dot another layer dot dot x pipe dot 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 pipe dot 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 and this time we're going to have a female connector on the second layer, the only block. So let's copy uh, connect female. Second layer, only block, female connector. Remove the asterisk, save it. Now, let's just check that that's gone right. So the first piece should look like that. Yep. 
Yep. And the second piece. Should look like that. Yep, those are good. So render that. And then save the STL. As piece two. And I do this so that I can have each piece uh, in a different colour. I'll, I'll want to print these the same colour uh, when I'm using the uh, printer. Um, this is just to help me to get the split in the right place. I actually want these parts to be the same colour. Uh, but I'll two, I will print the. Uh, this is one plate in one colour. And then I'll change filaments for a, a different piece. This is the third piece. So all of these parts will be the same colour, but I'm going to have to do, uh, I'll do the main red piece first. We'll do it like that. So that is four wide, three deep, two high. Finish that plate, start a new plate. And this is also going to consist of uh, three pieces. Uh, actually, that one's four pieces, so I'll make it three. OK, three pieces. So the bottom one is x dot 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 pipe x x x x pipe x dot 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 that's the first layer second layer x dot 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 pipe dot 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 x pipe dot 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 and I'm going to put the male connector ah, I just realized a problem yep I want the, I want a vertical I want the split to be there so this one should have been red so I actually want that fourth piece that means I'm going to need a fourth uh, row here and that's going to be pipe X dot 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 and the same on the next layer dot, dot. okay that's better um, so there's going to be a a male connector here and a female connector there so on a male connector Connect male, second layer, the first X there, uh, and a female connector on the fourth row of the first layer. That one there. Good. I should probably go back in here and change this just so I don't confuse myself 
it's that square there needs to be red. Now I don't have red unfortunately, I'll have to uh, add a new colour. That'll do. Okay. Yep, save that. Yep, that'll be much better um, not having the joint on the side of the pieces, having them top and bottom works a lot better in my view. So let's do the pink next. So we'll flip that over. Have it like that, four wide, two deep, two high. This is the second second part. X X X X pipe. Second row. Dot X dot X. And that is the end of the first layer. And second layer, and that's going to be dot 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 x, and this is where the connector is. And I wanted to make ah oh now I need to make sure I get it the right way around. I made that piece male, so this is going to be a female. Okay, so it's going to be a connect female. There. Um, now I need a Oh, confused again. Um, that's the end of the first row, so now I need a pipe. Yeah, I shouldn't have put the quote there. Pipe. Second row on the top layer is also dot 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 x that's better and th that top of that one doesn't have anything on it so that's okay and then the third piece um, this one's going to have the mail pin let's do it like that there's only one deep But it's got three layers. So that's going to go X, X, X. Next row. Sorry, no. Only one deep. Next layer. So add a new layer. X dot x and then another layer dot dot x quotes x x x quotes are oh, missing a quote there x dot x dot dot x good and then I need the male connector uh, yep the male connector um, 
first block on top of that block there. I often make mistakes, as you'll have seen, and so it's very important to check that you you get the pieces you expected to get. So in reverse order, I've got a pin there. A hollow there. And the other side of this red piece, I'm going to try and keep track of that, needs the pin. This piece here needs the pin. The back one needs the hollow. Yep, there's the pin. There's the hollow. So I think that's correct. So render that. And save the STL file. And then finally, uh, use my slicer. So I use Simplify 3D. Uh, remember which file I'm using. So it's the STL files and it's the neurotic folder. So I'm going to import the parts for the first piece. And I have a, a puzzle profile, which I'm going to load. And I'm going to set it to medium high resolution. And that's what the pieces will look like when I print them out. And that looks as though it actually needs a little bit more strength. So I've got three shells. I'm going to increase that to four. And I'm going to increase my infill to 20%. Update the profile. I found the best way of stopping these parts from breaking when you hammer them together is just to make them a bit stronger. There we go, we've got more infill now and thicker walls. That looks better. The last thing I'll do is check the top and bottom. So my four walls, I'm going to increase the top and bottom that to six layers, six solid layers. And that's ready to print now so I'll save that uh, piece one piece two Um, 
you could print it like that. Uh, just a little tip here. I find that the center of the heated plate tends to hold its heat better than the edges. So if you want to avoid printing in the edges, uh, you can. This is one STL file and you know that because there's only one item here. You can break these up. Um, and that may cause a problem. Let's try the mesh separate connected surfaces. That's worked well. So now we've got three parts and if you do center and arrange it now regroups them. It will attempt to do the, the best uh, manual grouping. You might be able to improve it like that. That means the head's got less distance to move and you've got all of the parts in the center of the plate. And so I'm going to print it like that. There we go. There's all the parts uh, for of Neurotic ready to print. Hope that was useful um, and uh, hope you enjoy using uh, particularly uh, OpenSCAD and uh, PuzzleCAD that's been designed for it by Aaron Siegel. It's a brilliant piece of software um, as is Bertels um, but uh, the ability to split these complex puzzle shapes with overhangs into multiple parts really makes any puzzle printable and that that's the the real game changer for me thanks for watching bye now